Hey, hey, another day, another mystery art box. Let's see what's inside. Spart Art Box is a mystery art box that you'll receive every single month as long as you're signed up. They give you this brochure every time with the history, project tools, and the fun thing about Smart Art is that they give you an actual project to do and a bonus project to advance your skills, basically. And on the back, they have some project pointers and they always have monthly prompts. In we go. Bubble wrap, that's new. Brochure, we'll look at that in a minute. Cute little sticker, some kind. Oh, a kneadable eraser, I like those. Okay, watercolor drawing pencils. Well, an art set really because it has a brush as well. Interesting. These, Crafter's Choice, I keep seeing these. They're everywhere. <laughs> these are white tipped ones for acrylics, watercolors, oils, temperos, enamels, fabric dyes, and fabric paints. Just about everything. White Taclon. Hmm. Angora, made in Germany. Opaque colors. Interesting. Hmm. We'll play with those. Some kind of art alternatives dual tip. Doesn't say anything, so we'll have to look in the instruction book to see what this is. Candy. Oh wow, and a bunch of watercolor boards. Six watercolor boards, very nice. Turns out that this is a water-based dual tip marker. Breakfast, new, cozy, and puppy. And they have a rewards program that if you do all four prompts in the month, whatever month that box is, then you can receive rewards points and you can redeem those points towards discounts on future boxes. And it always works out really nicely. I figured we might as well try out these paints on one of these boards, why not? with one of these brushes and then we'll try these out as well. So the only thing I added over here to my desk was water. I've never used these before so this should be interesting. These on the front say opaque colors and then in Smart Arts brochure it says transparent and semi-transparent so I don't know what's up with that yet. I started out swatching just like I would normal watercolors and what I found out is I really need to water them first. So you saw I dropped some water on each of the pans first because they really benefit from letting some water soak in. And then I found out that the colors looked nice on these crescent boards. However, when they dried, they did look chalky. So they, or maybe not chalky. Yes, I think they were chalky looking, but they dried very matte looking. So, you know, whether matte looking is chalky or not, uh, I'll leave that up to you to decide. But I did some mixes over there and the mixes actually were really pretty. I liked the way those turned out. And then I was really excited about this blue mixed with the black, but when it dried, it looked horrible. So, so much for that. I'd put too much water in it, but there's what it looks like there. And then after this, I decided I would try to lift up the paint. Now this is the next day or maybe two days later. And I thought the paint would come right off of these crescent boards, but it did not. And then I remembered I needed to try the watercolor pencils. And that graphite colored one is also a watercolor, water soluble graphite pencil. And it actually worked really nicely. So I was actually kind of impressed with these little pencils. Thought they were kind of cool. They they work nicely. So I decided to try this first prompt here, breakfast. And it turns out I had just made a triple batch of waffles that I needed to put in the freezer for a long trip we have coming up. We have a long trip, 10, 11 days, sometimes 12 or more every single year. And yeah, I made triple batch of waffles. So waffles were on my brain <laughs> and I am painting waffles. Just kind of a loose, easy style. I didn't feel like getting terribly serious with all of these supplies and the paint, but you know, I had fun with it still and definitely enjoyed that bright color in the background. That was really neat. And these actually turned out looking really pretty as far as the colors go and the saturation and all of that. So no complaints there. I didn't really like this board. It didn't like a lot of work on top of it, if you know what I mean. It didn't like to be scrubbed much, even with the brush, especially not with the paper towel, especially, especially not with your finger. <laughs> and I noticed the paint goes on really transparent and then it dries more opaque, like I mentioned before. And then after I get all these little details in here, I put in the mound of syrup that's kind of being poured on top. And I try the white that came with this because I'm like, you know, I really could use some very light, bright white highlights but the white did not work for that at all. So no highlighting with the white, it was just bleh. And this is one of the rare instances where I'm doing the prompts separately. Usually I combine all four prompts into just one drawing or one piece of artwork, but this time I just didn't have a brilliant idea. Didn't really feel like doing like a massive scene. I could imagine somebody sitting in a chair, maybe eating their breakfast with the cute little puppy that's new down at their feet, begging, all of that. But I just didn't, 
I didn't feel that mood. I didn't feel that scene. So we did them kind of separately here. I meant to do all four separately, but I had a oh an incident towards the end where we ended up combining two. <laughs> this one here is for cozy, and I just thought a nice warm crackling fire just is cozy. And so that's what we're doing here. And I had some trouble. If I put too much water in that black at all, it would just turn gray and kind of fade out. So I had to go over the black several times. And there was actually some limitations with the paint brushes because this was the smallest flat brush they had. And then there was one round brush in there, but it was teeny tiny. It was like a double zero or something. So it's not like I could go to a smaller brush without getting into super fine points. So doing some of the details in the logs and the fireplace here were kind of tricky, but I figured it out in the end. And I'm apparently very used to my round brushes because, oh my goodness, did I miss them. I like to use my size 10 all the time. My size 8 is really handy. I've even used a size 6 on occasion. And wow, I really miss the fine point you can get with a round brush, a nice good quality round brush and still get to do lots of fill in space with the bigger parts of the belly of the brush. So wished I had one of those, but we may do with the flat brush for the most part. And then I tried to use the pencils here to get some of the details in the brickwork along the side and it just didn't work. The paper was just barely, barely wet and it just kind of made a mess <laughs> and it kind of ate the paper surface actually. So I don't know, I ended up using the graphite one more than anything and then didn't like it, scratched them out and just kind of left the indents as they were, but you get the idea. Just wanted to show you this real quick because I started to just sketch freehand with this marker and I'll pop the little video up here in the corner for you to watch while I was doing it. And without a sketch or anything, and it was fine, I actually think it turned out okay, but I didn't like it well enough to want to keep it and like move on with it. I just, I don't know, this wasn't giving me the look that I had hoped for, <laughs> but I needed the panels and I put five layers of gesso over this. Can you see that? Five layers. So it is never, it's not going to cover up unless I used black gesso or something. So we will just ignore that then and do new and puppy on the last remaining board all together. So we will combine the two prompts like I usually combine four prompts, but this time We'll just combine those two and these little baby feet. Like I said, I'll, I'll put black gesso over this and use it for something else, metallic markers or something. For new and puppy, I just pulled out this sketchbook. I often use this for art subscription box sketches. I have a really hard time saying the word subscription. <laughs> so anyway, there's my little sketch and it's so dark because I pulled out graphite paper, put this under it and traced over it to transfer it onto this little board. Now we will play. I seriously considered just using the watercolor pencils for this. I thought that would be really fun, but the color choices were just way too limited and I didn't really feel like mixing a whole bunch of things on this with pencils. I don't really think this surface could handle a whole lot of that. So I got the paints out too, which did not hurt my feelings. I love paint. And then I realized as I was watching this later, like I did the one eye and didn't do the outline of it. And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe that's just the feature of this dog. Cause I thought about getting it back out and putting that other black line around the, the right side eye there, the dog's left eye. But eh, I thought maybe this dog is one of those that has a you know, different color uh, fur around its eye. So we're going with that <laughs> because why not, right? Artistic license. Anyway, this is a corgi. One ear's down, one ear's up. It's so cute. I just love it. <laughs> And this is where I use that teeny, 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 tiny brush. And I realized later I didn't put details on the tongue like I meant to either. So I don't know. I just missed some things with this, but there it is. All right, calling it quits. <laughs> there it is. New puppy. Here's all our creations all down together at once. Breakfast, new and puppy, and cozy. Most of the supplies we used here. If you're wondering, all of the pencils, the paint, the paint brushes, I'm putting all in my giveaway bin for somebody else. I have a bazillion watercolor pencils already and these seem nice enough, but I don't need them. So I'll put them back in this tin. This I may keep, I don't know. It was kind of interesting anyway. And that wraps up January 2021 Smart Art Box. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun, I sure did. And make sure you have your notifications on because I have a bazillion ideas for fun videos coming up. See you on Friday. Bye for now. Smart Art Box is a monthly art subscription. Oh my gosh, I can't say that word. <laughs>